so hello YouTube, Reddit and everyone else. Thanks for being with me. This is for now my unfinished SLS printer. I will answer the Reddit questions in this video, so stay tuned and feel free to ask more stuff in the comments. As you can see, I choose a glass tube for the print chamber because its availability is high and you can use different chamber sizes for whatever you can buy in your region. The plastic that I used for prototyping is PLA. Later I plan to use some PETCF because it's temperature resistant between 150 to 200 degrees. I used some PTFE tubing for the scraper here because PTFE, known as Teflon, is one of the best anti-stick compounds out there. The best idea for the gantry is that electromagnets pop onto the part and then the laser can push the scraper forward. Another unusual thing I have to mention is that the laser has a fan for cooling that has to be turned off while printing. The heatsink will be big enough so that after printing a layer we can move the laser into the cooling zone where it can use its fan. Or maybe we can use a glass plate to fix this later like Micronix. Then I bought some relatively cheap SLS powder, it was the cheapest powder I could find. And for now um, I'm going to focus on PA12 powder because it's the easiest to work with. I'm using a standard Core XY motion system on top here. The Core XY system is actually for now for testing from another guy's project. I have modified it a bit and will link his project below. This is the piston for the build surface. The thing is that if I only use one screw in the middle, the piston sometimes wants to turn itself and that would be fatal. I was thinking of putting two aluminium extrusions on the I'm currently planning to run a RAMS 1.4 or maybe a Ledger X board I got donated by a Discord member. If you are wondering how the powder gets to the printing surface. The idea is that I'm currently modifying a pump that will pump powder like it's water. Up to here. It's based on a vacuum pump. The excess powder will fall into the hole and go back into the reservoir. The wall part needs to be enclosed. Maybe the wall printer will be enclosed, but the part here will be the heating chamber so the powder will be heated and also the printing room. Now I will answer some questions from Reddit. Yeah, I'm using a fixed focus diode laser with 40 watts slash 5 watts of optical power. Other less powerful lasers are totally fine for PA12. I will share details later. For now I'm planning to use just normal PA12 and if we can synth our PA12 we can plan to use other powders. For now it's fine, but later I would like to use screws for connecting the extrusions. Yeah, I have thought about using a Galvo system, but this produces another problem which is for now too expensive to solve, because the laser has to have adjustable focus. I have made you a little drawing. Now after the video I will share all files, all 3D parts and info on the Resolve Print Systems Discord linked below. I want to address in all seriousness another thing. I want this project to succeed. Nobody, no company can buy me. Never. I would love to get the permission of the Voron team to call this printer the Voron SLS V0 to get more people involved, more crazy good engineers in on the project. Of course to make SLS printing available with a small 1.1k price tag for everyone. Now, please make something with this idea. If you want, you can like, share, subscribe, the normal stuff. I would really appreciate it to help me start. Cheers. Nicola Turing.